Hello everyone, it's Etienne and we'll jump into the new version of Beyond the Void together. I'm so excited as it is the biggest patch since release in early access, so let's jump into it. We start with the most important novelty in this patch, the new mothership, Zelactyl. Zelactyl is the mothership from House Zoletza. This house mixes organic and non-organic matters to create high-tech objects. These are some kind of weird and disgusting creations, believe me. Zalactal is supposed to be a sort of close-range carry in Beyond the Void. Its auto-attack and passive reflect this vision. Each auto-attack fills Zalactal's steel glass coach. When its coach is full, it enters in fury mode and increases its fury counter. The more fury you had, the more fury mode will last and the more Zalactal damage will be increased during fury mode. Zalactal ultimate allows it to quickly warp on the enemy's mothership. Doing so, it instantly enters in still lust and deals tons of damage with its auto-attacks. The second most important thing is the new skill set. There are six new electro skills with interesting mechanics. The first of the two primary electro skills is the Shocker. It has a standard effect that is close to the one of the Fire Spear. Its special effect will allow players to silence their opponent for a short duration of time. The second primary electro skill is named Coil Pump. It's a kind of shotgun, it shots 6 electro balls on a cone surface and hits every enemies inside the surface. Coil Pump's special effect reduces the fire range of the next auto attacks of the enemy. Let's jump into secondary electro skills. The first one is called Storm Cloud. This is a huge AoE skill. The electrical storm deals damage per second to enemies in the area. When special effect is consumed through a combo, the next attack of the enemy will damage the enemy itself. The second secondary electro skill is named Spark Blast. This is a rocket that creates a static electricity dome. Every enemy spaceship inside the dome sees its shield being consumed. If special effect is activated, your mothership can restore its shield depending on how much shield it destroyed with the Spark Blast. Concerning utility electro skills, the first one is named Overdrive. It allows your mothership to move faster for a short duration of time. If you use the Overdrive at the end of a combo, enemy spaceships are damaged when moving. This is a really tough mechanic for enemies. The last electro skill is called Ghost. It obviously creates a ghost that moves according to the last intended move. Your mothership is invisible until your attack or the duration ends. Ghost uses the same skill as you do but deals less damage. When ghost is used at the end of a combo, the next skill you use will deal more damage. In this patch we also implemented a lot of changes in terms of balancing for mothership and skills. Excalibur first just received a small buff for its attack damage. We also upgraded some fire skills so that they are more powerful than Creo skills. While K2 had two strong auto attacks so we decreased the slowing ability and the progressive attack bonus that they provide. In addition, its ultimate now protects any units inside it, even enemies. Concerning Fusion, we decided to up a little bit this mothership. Basic movement speed has been increased. When you die and your passive is activated, your movement speed will now be increased as well as damage dealt, especially when your opponent's remaining life is low. We also brought some changes for spaceships on the lane, as we want the lane to push quicker and find a real use in differentiating your rings to push the lane when you set military strategy. We decided to differentiate mercenaries, snipers and sentinel spaceships. This patch brings a lot of changes and additions in terms of graphic designs and animations. One of the new things is the animation for the destruction of towers on the lane. We also worked on some designs for camps. Mining camp has been reworked. You can now see a spaceship surrounded by pirates. Remember that when you destroy pirates, you earn a large amount of ambrosium. Concerning the Corsair camp, we did an update as well. You have to def defend drones to obtain a precious escort of three courses. We also changed the graphic aspect of asteroids on the asteroid belt and changed the skin of harvesters that collect ambrosium on the asteroid belt. Planet rings also received some changes. As you can see, they look different. We also added an animation for the destruction of these rings. 
As would say our artistic director, it might be a good idea to wear sunglasses playing Beyond the Void. In this patch we also added a lot of sound designs. It still lacks sound, but the game doesn't feel empty anymore. We really appreciate the atmosphere that the game delivers, and we think that you will be able to enjoy your games and indeed your victories. That's all for patch 07, you can find all details about the update in the patch note. The link is in the description obviously. Thanks for watching this video, don't forget to join the TV official discord server to not miss anything about the game. Also don't forget about Scorpio Partners tournament that takes place on 13th July. I wish you a good day and see you in game!